in this lecture so we will learn about mean value theorem okay mean value theorem this is the first theorem that we will study so mean value theorem and rolls theorem which is a special case of mean value theorem okay these two are very important theorem so first we will try to understand what it says okay so first about rolls theorem so the name looks quite attractive to me of course i think it should look to you also rolls theorem so what it says is that if there is a function f okay which takes values from a to b in the closed interval and to real numbers as the range and f is continuous okay so it's continuous on a b this interval okay and f is differentiable also differentiable in a to b okay and one more thing is there so this is the first requirement this is the second the third one is f of a is equal to f of b okay where a and b are some real numbers okay then it says a very powerful thing then what happens then there exist okay there exist at least okay at least one c a point c in a b interval open interval a b such that f dash c is equal to 0 this is very important theorem so let's try to recap it there is a function its domain is closed interval a to b and it maps to real values f is continuous on closed interval a b it's defined everywhere it's continuous f is differentiable also on open interval a b and f of a the initial value at initial point a is equal to final point at final point b then it says that there exists at least one point c in a b such that f dash c is equal to zero so now we should try to make some figures okay so i have something like if we take this as a this as b okay we take some function then it says that okay it should be continuous in a b and it should be differentiable in a b and f a should be equal to f b okay so we will try to plot something like this f a and f b let's say they are equal okay so this is f of a this is f of b both are equal then the function should be continuous in between and it should be differentiable okay everywhere so we draw some curve okay like this so this curve you see that it is continuous everywhere i could draw this without picking up my pen and this is differentiable but because at each point you can have a tangent to this curve okay so this follows our definition f of a is equal to f of b fx is continuous in a b interval closed and fx is differentiable in a b okay so now it says that there must exist some point c in a b open interval a b for which f dash c is equal to 0 so let's try to see from the figure is it true 
f dash c means 0 which means what tangent at this point is parallel to x axis isn't it then only it will have a 0 degree angle a 0 slope so do we have a tangent to this which has 0 slope this at this point it's not this is the slope here at this point the slope is something like this but these are not parallel to x axis or their slope is not zero but if we see is there a point this point what happens there is a point at which the tangent is parallel and we can find this is one point okay another point is this so here also you have a tangent which is parallel to the x-axis and hence its slope is zero so there always exists at least one point for which f dash c is zero or for which the tangent is parallel to the x-axis so now let's try to see why it is so we will not go into the proof but we will at least see by intuition why it is so so one thing is f of a is f of b okay this is very important this function whatever it is increasing decreasing finally its value will become at b it is becoming equal to f of a so let's see if it increases okay so if it increases then at some point it should decrease again to become equal to f of a at the last point isn't it so if we have this way if this is a this is b and f a starts here and it starts increasing okay then at for it to become equal to b f of a at point b it must decrease somewhere so it started decreasing so now it was increasing and then it started decreasing but because the function was continuous so at some point this slope will become parallel to this okay but now you can draw someone can draw some more demanding graph something like this he says that hey this is a this is b and my function is f a and f b are both let's say zero that is fine it started to increase and then it started to decrease and he says hey my friend where there is no point where the the tangent the slope of the tangent is zero but what should you say can anyone tell you can tell look my friend this function is not differentiable at this point isn't it because here the slope is going like this the tangent here it is going like this so it has two tangents so this is not differentiable function at all so hence Rolle's theorem will not exist for this type of function so for this it should be continuous it should be differentiable so can anyone give me example where it is not continuous and then someone gives that okay Rolle's theorem is not following think that one out okay so next we will look at what is called the mean value theorem okay so what is mean value theorem so mean value theorem what it says is that let's see so mean value theorem it says let's have a curve like this okay we have a curve like this and we have point a we have point b okay so this is b this is a so here this is a and this is b so now we say that what is the first thing is mean value theorem what is the 
average increase average change with respect to x for this function fx okay so what is the average or mean change in fx with respect to x in a to b okay so what is the average change in this that's what is derivative means the rate of change so what is the average change in this so you can say that okay say that average change is what so at f b it is f of b at a it is f of a by b minus a so this is the average change in value so now what does mean value theorem says so the mean value theorem says that there exists a point okay and again here this is continuous function and it is both differentiable it is continuous in this and it is differentiable in this interval okay continuous in a comma b closed interval okay and differentiable in a b open interval so there exists a point c such that f dash c at this the slope or rate of change is equal to the f b minus f a the average rate of change so now let's see is it true so rate of change here is this is the rate of change here now is there this is the average rate of change slope is there some tangent for this function where it is parallel and we see so like this so let's see some examples so we have somewhere here so this line goes parallel to the yellow line and at this point the slope is also at this c the slope is also f b minus f a by b minus a so this is what the mean value theorem says that at some point inside a b interval so f of b minus f of a will be equal to b minus a into f dash c okay so this is the called the mean value theorem and for this the function should be continuous it should be differentiable then this will follow okay so this is very important theorem these two rolls theorem and the rolls theorem okay rolls theorem and mean value theorem